So, you made an awesome Niagara particle, but whenever it's created, no matter what you do to scale, it never changes size. Not a problem. Basically, unlike Cascade, where you could just change the scale here, the new Niagara system is more complicated. It gives you more control, but it's also a little more complex to set up. I'll show you how to do it with two different particles, one where we change the size uniformly, and one where we change the size non-uniformly. So let's say your particle spawns with a random uniform scale. To make it to where you can adjust the scale from a blueprint, change it to uniform, then under sprite size, multiply it by a float, and then under A, say make float from vector, and then set vector to engine scale, and then set B to random range float, and type in the correct size numbers you originally had. Now you're done, but I'll show you how to set it up for a non-uniform scale as well. So under size mode, change it to non-uniform, then under float, set it to make vector float, then under vector, set it to engine scale. And then under 2D, set it to random range vector 2D, and then type in the number values you had before. And you do this for every emitter in your particle that has scale values that need to be controlled. Once you've done that, you can go back to wherever the particle is created, and then when you adjust the X value in the scale, the size of the particle will finally be changed. Now two things you should know is when you are doing this, if you ever forget what the original values are, you can always see what they were by changing the size mode back to its original. And another shortcut that you can do to save time is if two emitters share the same size mode, you can actually right click, copy the sprite size, and paste it to the other emitter and then just tweak the final values. Either way, I hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.